the auto shop. Hopefully they can fix my car today. Oh, nice. I was gonna go grab breakfast, but everyone woke up. Gotta go together now. Or at least me and NG are gonna go. So I was over here and I saw that NG had some pictures here. I'm not sure if he wants me to share, but I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> this is a really nice one that I've never seen when they went to uh, China. Just the two of them. NG and Haley. <laughs> I miss her punk ass. NG, Katie, and Cindy. The sisters. <laughs> okay. Miss Hong, your food is here. And you, you are a Miss Wu. Yeah? <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Whaley got um, a hydro flask. I think this is what it is. Da, 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 da. Hey, join the crew. 40 ounces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> well, you got a vegetarian pho. And she got a <laughs> meat pho. A meat pho. <laughs> Regular pho. <laughs> and I got a fried. Hainan chicken rice. Really, really crazy looking. So it's just like regular Hainan chicken, but I guess they deep fry it. Hi guys, how are you doing? Happy Vlogmas Day. I honestly don't even know. <laughs> it's been quite a long uh, month of Vlogmas. It's honestly kind of weird to vlog every single day because I feel like our lives aren't that exciting and in a way I feel a little obligated to make my life seem more interesting for you guys but I know you know in the end you guys don't care about that but I think just as the creator or like the youtuber we feel like we have a responsibility to ah, we, we feel like we have a bit of a responsibility to make content that excites you guys but I just have to remind myself this is just real life every single day and it doesn't have to be very exciting every single day you know um, but anyways, I'm excited today because I'm getting my hair done finally. So I'm gonna get new extensions. I don't know if you guys have noticed, you probably have and it's looking pretty bad. But I've had my extensions for about a year now. And over the last year, I would switch out maybe like one, two, maybe even five pieces of my extensions. Um, but overall, as a whole, I just need to remove all of them and get a fresh batch of hair because it's been a year. So a lot of the hair is just really, um, it's really bad right now because it's very dry just from you know it, it's extensions it's not meant to be in your head for like over a year and not get fresh hair so getting fresh hair today i'm so glad i'm also gonna go darker because i feel like the light color is just hard to keep up with and it's also drying for my hair so i'm gonna go darker and just get a more low maintenance type of color just like dark brown or something i think that's what's happening today and yeah I made it to my hair appointment. I just want to show you because you guys haven't seen my my natural hair in so long. I think it's been a year. But this is my natural hair, guys. Here it is. It's actually like thicker than I imagined it to be. It's grown a lot. I know. And these pieces are, remember how short these guys yeah. were? Yeah. I know, like a year ago when I first started coming here, my bangs were like, they were probably like right here and they were so annoying. And they're finally here. Ooh. Oh, it feels so nice. I can run my hand through my hair. <laughs> the best feeling. <laughs> Sorry, it's backlit. You can't really see me, but this is what's happening so far. I have lots and lots of foils. Lots and lots. And this is gonna end up on my head. All of his hair. Three hours later, I am a mermaid. It's so long and I have to show you guys when I get home because you can't really see what's going on right now But I'll show you when I get home. I love it. I love it so much and it feels so good to just have a fresh batch of extensions It's the best feeling ever. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go home put some makeup on and then head over to Sophie's tonight She's um, we're having like a dinner thing at her house. I don't think she's cooking I think we may just do like pizza or something. So yep, gonna put my lashes on and over there. Wow, that sunset. That sunset is so pretty. <gasps> this reminds me that Wa and I need to go see the sunset again together. We haven't done it in years. So babe, when you're watching this, uh, make sure you plan something for me. Thank you very much. I would like to see the sunset with your ass. All right, we, we have noted it down. If Wa forgets to take me to see the sunset, y'all, 
You have to remind him on Instagram and make him feel bad for it. You guys, this traffic is no joke. Um, it will take me almost close to two hours to get home. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Without traffic, it usually takes me like an hour. Yeah, hour, hour, 10 minutes. This is crazy. I'm also really hungry, so I'm thinking I may just pull out of the freeway and go get food because I mean, uh, not like this traffic is moving anyways. I might as well just go get something to eat. I know you guys love when I give you Chinese song recommendations, so I have one here for you. Look it up on YouTube. I love this song so much, and I'm pretty much gonna be listening to this all the way home. I mapped and there was like nothing to eat, so I stopped by a gas station and got some Lay's. My favorite chips in the world. I love Lay's. Lay's and Ruffles, oh my God. They are my two favorites. Yummy. We just made it to Sophie's and um, did I mention her? Yes, I did. So we're having dinner at Sophie's house. She's gonna go back to her parents um, in Virginia for the holidays. So, so she decided to host a little party and I dressed to eat. No tight pants. Look at this. I'm ready. I get whaley fish because I'm a good friend. Oh, oh God. I don't know what I'm doing without you. Seriously. Yeah, you ain't ready, big boy. Well, I see you. Okay. Well, Look at this good. nice presentation. I see you took out each individual tracker. Okay. <laughs> and then to top it off, she ordered some Dina's fried chicken. Mm -hmm. Look at these fries. I've never seen fries this crispy. I was so, so shocked the first time. Oh my goodness. It's like as if they put a batter over the fries and then fry them. And look at this corn. Oh, ho, ho. Mashed potatoes and mac and cheese, gravy. It looks so good. Game night. Of course we have our game smart ass. Huh? What's that? Oh. Melika. Oh. so good. Oh. You know how to snowboard? You know how to snowfall, just like me. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we also have What Do You Meme. Check out that huge whiteboard over there. That's going to be for Pictionary. <laughs> we, might, we might not have enough space yeah. on it. I know, yeah. That board's a little small for Pictionary, I think. I guess you could erase. Yeah. It's annoying. Never had a domestic. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting intense, you guys. True. He should be able to move and then he oh, just yeah. doesn't guess this room. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. One, two, three. Oh, wait. Oh, you got oh, hard Did you do the hard ass one? Oh. Yeah. Hot ass. Which one should we ask him? Um, let's ask him the easier one. No, mm -hmm. fuck, they're both hard. We don't know what the fuck both of these are. <laughs> we'll do the top one. Okay. Yeah. That one's the hard one. All right, you get the hard one. Which ex-CIA employee won the German positive pig Big Brother Award. Wait, what? <laughs> what? English, please? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which ex CIA employee uh -huh. won the German Positive Big Brother Award? Positive Lord. Big Brother Award. Positive Big Brother. Award. The German was he, version. Was he? Of yes. German. And he was an ex CIA. Yeah. He was an ex CIA, was was an ex -CIA an ex employee. Ex -CIA employee. <laughs> right. I'm going to go with. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Jen's first time and she is being the smart ass. How? <laughs> get a one, one! Get a one! One, 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 one! Oh! No! No! I just want to let y'all know I am the smartest person. <laughs> <laughs> good job, good job, good job, good job. He's smart. You very, very smart. We're about to play Pictionary, but this setup is legit. The size of that board, table for all the cards. Easy access table. It's crazy. So we got teammates. Girls against the guys. The girls name. Let's go, Jess. <laughs> Actually, let's let me uh. We did it. 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 We did it.
Day, so I'm wearing my Dance Ember shirt. Actually, I've been wearing this since last night, but today is the 24 hour live broadcast of Dance Ember. We're gonna tune in later tonight around like 8 p.m. for the live broadcast. So we'll try to document that. And if you guys caught it, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And also, don't forget to make your donations, of course. Yeah, anyways, we're really excited to be a part of it. Uh, Juan and I actually started our day pretty late today. We didn't get home from Sophie's until like I think like 2 a.m. or so last night, so we were tired and we knocked out, didn't wake up until later today. So the day is pretty, it's, it's pretty chill today. Um, what are we doing now? I am just tidying up the room. I just like to make the bed. I try to get in the habit of really making the bed every single day because it just makes me feel good. Whenever I walk into a room that's clean, I just feel good about it. So just making my bed and I already got ready as you guys can see. And we're probably gonna go get some food. Our kitchen is still not functioning yet so we can't make anything at home. So I actually do have a house update for you guys. I'll show you maybe in a bit, but it 
yeah, actually you can't even tell. So this morning while the guys were working on the house, we were in the bedroom and um, we chose the grout color, which is, you know, I asked you guys your opinion too. Yellow, I guess? Yeah, this is just darker, a little bit more of a contrast. But keep in mind, we're also going to stain these shelves, so they're going to be darker. So it's going to be the color that's going in between the subway tile. So we chose this color called Fawn. And in the sample, it looks very, like beigey, sandy, but once it was actually on the wall, it had more of a peachy color to it, and one, I just didn't like it. They they did it, and after we saw it as a whole, it just looked dirty almost. It kind of just looked like dirty grout. So um, we decided that we wanted to remove all the grout and just do black so that it matches the bathroom. And yeah, so because of that, it's gonna delay the job an extra day, but I'm just glad we'll end up getting you know the look that we want. Hey guys feeling a little bit groggy because we tried to take a nap because uh, we didn't sleep too well last night and then with the guys coming early this morning although we were resting we weren't really resting because the noise was so loud um, but yeah, we both kind of feel lightheaded, have a headache, um, but trying to get our energy up because it's the Dance Ember live broadcast in a little bit so uh, we're just kind of waking our bodies up right now, just drinking some water while I just took the dogs out so Getting our energy up. It is Whaley and Wong. Hey guys. Hello. Coming in from LA. They support us every year with Dance Ember, and despite how busy they are, especially this season, um, they're still coming on and spreading the Dance Ember love. So thank you, Whaley yeah. and Wong, for coming. Hopefully hey. this season. Hey. Oh, that was We're cool. on. Hey guys. Hey. How's it going? How you doing? Good, good. good. Amazing. Excited can, for this. Yeah. Can you guys hear us okay? I just donated yes. here on Dan Sember. Sonia, our friend Sonia Castaneda just donated. She said I was so thank you guys. My heart explodes with every donation. Thanks, Sonia. Thanks, Sonia. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you. And thank you so much for supporting us throughout the years as well. Uh, Jasmine, I have been watching your family for four years now and I'm so happy that I have a job to join this year. Oh, nice. Like we said earlier, we are super excited always for Dance Ember. It's so nice to just be able to give, especially mm -hmm. during the holiday season. Um, we said earlier too that we were on a missions trip, so seeing the kids and um, everyone in the, like, the less fortunate areas um, with no food, like, seeing them and being able to give them what they need is truly humbling and it's truly a surreal experience. So we really enjoy you know, helping out and really being a part of Dance Ember and dancing along and donating and just using our influence for the better. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to drink more water just to clear up my skin and good for my health So I got this hydro flask bottle and it's the 40 ounce. It's legit a baby Especially when it's full. I think this thing is probably like a good a good five pounds 
Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating, but it feels like five pounds. Ooh, I'm so excited. We're at Native Foods Cafe. Really, really good vegetarian spot. Are they still open? I thought they were. They're so nice here, so they let us order. And yeah, because we walked in literally two minutes before they closed. I thought they closed at 11, but I guess it's 10 o'clock, so we're totally late. But yeah, I'm so excited. I ordered the, the tikka masala, which is so good. It's like this curry with chickpeas. And he got the soul bowl, which is what I normally get. It's like their vegan fried chicken with like, it's like on, on top of like a salad or something like that. I think, I don't really remember. But yeah, their food is so good. If you guys are in the area, you should definitely check them out. They have a location in Palm Springs too, which is where I tried them the first time. Oh, delicious. Something I definitely want to try next is the chicken and waffles. I want to try it so bad that I, I don't know, I may just come back tomorrow or sometime this weekend. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're finally home. That took a while. <laughs> Anyways, time to eat. That's not me. Here, French. Mm. Thank you. So Are you using the fork or? Oh no, I have a question for my people out there. My entire life I called Vaseline. Vaseline. But NG just called it, what you call it? Vaseline. Vaseline? Wow. <laughs> Does anyone out there, I, I know there has to be someone out there in this world. There are so many of you out there that maybe one of you will call it Vaseline. I don't think so. Vaseline <laughs> or Baseline. Or baseline. <laughs> it's Vaseline, right? <laughs> now you got me thinking. <laughs> Throw All me right. away. Use me again to keep your super cap <laughs> in perfect shape. Yeah. So, we don't know how you're supposed to pronounce this brand. So this blogger I follow, Superga. Superga. Wow. Oh. Superga. So I was like, I think it's Superga. And then Katie goes, I've called it Superga. <laughs> so what do you guys pronounce this brand if you know of it? Not too expensive either. I forgot exactly how much. Maybe like $60. So around the same price as um, Converse. Guess who came over? My baby Leo. Leo. Hi Leo. Oh. I think this is his second time here. He's a good boy. Hi. Huh? More than that? Oh. Yeah, you're a good baby. He was playing so much with Navi, but I think they're taking a break now. Or not? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I mean, do we want to see that or smell that? <laughs> Money is just being the uh, patrol here. She always monitors their play. Yeah, she doesn't really join in on it. Sometimes she does, but she just like, yeah, she just sits from above, just make sure everything's okay. No fights are breaking out. <laughs> Look at his tail. Oh, you guys are so cute. Oh. Money. Just be nice, man. <laughs> Try to get it, Navi. Go get it. Go get it, Navs. Oh, you give up? <laughs> that grumpy old lady. Eventually. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Hope you guys enjoyed the previous vlogs. And um, yeah, we just wanted to hop back in here and say what's been going on uh, with this whole break. We've been gone for like almost a week, yeah. actually. So yeah. as you guys see, we failed Vlogmas, which I think this actually may be our second year failing Vlogmas. Mm -hmm. But last yeah. year we failed like, we we almost made it, you yeah. know, we were close. Yeah. But um, this year we decided to stop Vlogmas because we were struggling, like we were struggling to find things to vlog about. Mm -hmm. I think in the past it was it was a little easier to do Vlogmas because we we're out and about, we're doing mm -hmm. fun things. But this month, it has just been a lot of the home stuff. Mm -hmm. And we've kind of just been stuck at home and every day we're yeah. like, okay, let's show this. But mm -hmm. it's kind of repetitive and... And it's just crazy, not just that, but we were getting so tired because like in the daytime, we can't sleep in because right at 7.30, mm -hmm. the guys come and they start working on the house. So naturally, we just have to stay awake. And, yeah. um, and we couldn't yeah. film either, or I couldn't film for my main channel at least mm -hmm. because there's so much noise. And by 
the time they leave, it's too dark to film. Mm -hmm. So it's been a struggle for my channel and it's been a struggle for him to edit as well because mm -hmm. it's just a lot of banging and drilling. Yeah, so um, yeah, the rest is one. Um, we don't want you guys to get bored. That's mm -hmm. two. We are back now mm -hmm. and I hope you guys are ready for the future vlog. I know. Because we're gonna show you the house done and yes, stuff. it's almost done. So yeah, I'm really excited to just kind of go back to our normal schedule mm -hmm. and like have more exciting things because the house is almost finally done. So we'll be able yep. to like go out again and take the dogs out to parks and show you guys mm -hmm. all of that too. So that'll be just a lot more fun, I think, than yeah. just us sitting at home. <laughs> and also my mom's coming tomorrow. Tomorrow, right? Yes. Let us know if you guys want to see. I think it'll be fun if like we did a Chinese speaking video because obviously his mom doesn't speak English uh -huh. maybe like a uh, who knows me better thing between me okay. and your mom I think that would be kind of cool yeah. and uh, we will see you in our coming ones our coming ones <laughs>